2013 brought its share of turmoil for the Metro Police Department. One scandal after another saw officer credibility called into question. The former chief resigned and the department faced multiple threats of litigation. WJCL's Renee LaSalle was working for you to investigate it all. She has more for us. Savannah Chatham Metro is a different department today than it was a few short months ago. I realized that um, the community has heard a lot um, of negativity and it is now our turn to turn that around completely. The change took effect when 32-year veteran Julie Tolbert was named as interim chief in late September, but the shakeup started even earlier. Two veteran officers filed racial discrimination suits against Chief Willie Lovett. Captains Charles Hall and Dean Fagerstrom claimed they were each passed over for a promotion to major. They said Lovett wanted to fill the positions with white officers. In mid-September, Metro's woes got even worse when a memo from Chatham County District Attorney Meg Heap said her office wouldn't prosecute cases if Star Corporal Willette Williams or Sergeant Malik Khalees played a primary role. The problem? Credibility. WJCL News poured through more than 1,000 personnel and internal affairs documents. An outside investigation revealed the officers worked together to warn Williams' brother, a drug suspect, that he was under surveillance. Williams was fired. Khalees later resigned. Metro's problems didn't end there. Before September was through, officers Trina and LaPrentice Mays filed sexual harassment and employment discrimination complaints, naming Chief Willie Lovett as a primary offender. The talk was Lovett was stepping down. I'm hearing word of possible retirement from you. Is that is that true? Is that not true? I don't know who told you that, but maybe you should get the details from them. The former chief retired within days. The good news now is that since uh, Chief Lovett is retired, that people do feel comfortable coming forward. It was the first of eight sexual harassment, retaliation, or employment discrimination suits. Lovett, the city, the department, and other officers were named. Unfortunately, it appears that these are not isolated incidents, but rather that there was a pattern. By the end of 2013, Savannah Chatham Metro was still in transition, with Interim Chief Tolbert calling her main goal cleaning up the department and getting back to the community. Restoring that trust that they've lost, whatever that might be. Renee LaSalle, WJCL News, working for you. Many of the sexual harassment and employment discrimination cases are still active. Administrative action and employment status changes for some of those involved have come as recently as the past couple of weeks. Of course, WJCL will be working for you to stay on top of this story in the new year.